<laughs> Defeated, okay? All the lawfare against Donald Trump failed, okay? You failed to remove him from the ballot. You failed to send him to prison. You failed to kill him. And you failed to stop him from winning the 2024 presidential election. And what makes us all the more glorious is watching these leftists melt down, okay? They can't take it. They're like, no. How could you, Jack Smith? We was counting on you to ruin this man's life, ruin his wife's life, his son's life, his grandchildren's life. The country's life, the Republicans' life, everybody's life. We was counting on you to ruin it because we have Trump derangement. That's really what this was about, guys. And they failed. You all failed. Trump won. Take that. <laughs> This is glorious, guys. God is good. Let's take a look at some of these meltdowns. In today's I Hate It Here news, Jack Smith has officially filed to dismiss the DC insurrection case against Trump. We knew it was coming, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating um, that it's actually happened. Now he did file to dismiss without prejudice. So potentially, I mean, it could technically be refiled, but the likelihood of that happening is slim to none. So Jack Smith just announced that he's going to move forward to dismiss the January uh, 6th case against Oh Boy. Now, wait a minute. Why all of a sudden the change of things? And you know what? The crazy thing is we'll probably never find out or uh, whatever. We already know that um, Oh Boy stated that he was looking forward to getting rid of Jack Smith anyway and his people. So with that being said... I just find this whole entire thing BS. But hey, I guess this is how that world works. This country doesn't deserve the comfort of democracy. Now, I know this may be somewhat of a controversial take for people, but this today, right, is a reminder that millions of Americans do not care about the democratic principles that make our country possible. I remember the feeling that I had on the 6th of January, 2021, uh, watching that unfold on television and the overwhelming amount of disappointment that came over me. Okay, I knew it was coming, but it is absolutely heartbreaking to see that Jack Smith has dismissed the case against the decrepit Cheeto. I don't think that we, the American people, can really blame him. He was handed a very complex set of cases at the 11th hour. And I'm going to be a salty hoe about it forever, but the responsibility rests squarely on the shoulders of Merrick Garland. You might disagree with me, but he pussyfooted around. In my eyes, he cared more about the appearance of impartiality than enacting justice, than being ruthlessly in pursuit of justice for the American people. This historic case against Donald Trump for allegations he tried to conspire to overturn an election and with ties to that horrific attack on the Capitol January 6th, that case is dying with a whimper today. A six-page narrow filing from the special counsel saying can't charge a president or try a president for a crime when he is the president. In the words of Jack Smith, it's an undue burden on a future President Trump to have this criminal prosecution. What's more, and what's particularly noteworthy in this filing, Nancy, is Jack Smith says we can't even hold this in advance until 2029, and the end of his second and final term, that that's too much of a burden on a president, too. This case must be dismissed, Jack Smith argues. No doubt Donald Trump's team will agree to this dismissal. But what if they're dismissing this now because of a potential bigger case coming. And a lot of people have said, you know, that there are things in the works in the background that we're hoping for things in the works. Like maybe there is something much larger that we all are just so unaware of or have not been privy to at this point in time. And maybe he is just making way for something that is much larger to come that he has to put his attention on. I mean, that would be, Right? But once again, it just goes to show 
elections have consequences. And all of those people who stayed home this last election, this is what you get. So weeks ago, I did a post saying Jack Smith was good for nothing. And I got so much pushback. The hopes and change that you people have for people like him is embarrassing. It's almost 100% guaranteed that as soon as he takes office, he's going to fire Jack Smith and his whole team. Um, so yeah, just another day where justice will never be served against a rich white man. This man is never going to face accountability for his actions. He never has and he never will. And it's so infuriating to me that he just keeps getting away with this. That's really the feeling that I have today with this news, although to be expected, the reminder that millions of Americans did not care that this individual refused to concede in the actions he took thereafter. Millions of Americans who lack respect for our democratic constitutional republic, what makes us us. And how many people take that for granted? And the precedent that we have now set, that it is acceptable to do what he did. You don't deserve it. I am one of those people who naively believed that the courts would fulfill their role in checks and balances. But here we have seen the DOJ, the executive branch, as well as ethically compromised Trump appointed judges in the judicial branch, Eileen Cannon, fail democracy, fail the American people. You guys taste that? Taste salty in the air today. <laughs> Um, we will give them salt to Angie. Is that the salt on it? I love salt. <laughs> Everything they tried was a bunch of BS, nonsense. Just a bunch of freaking BS. It all failed. This is what the actual rule of law looks like. If you had something, you would have got him and he would have been in prison for real. But she never had anything. And this right here proves it. Stop wasting our taxpayer dollars on a bunch of BS, a bunch of nonsense, and let's go after the real criminals. I'm actually going to show you this one TikTok video that echoes my sentiments exactly. Take a look. Jack Smith, the special counsel, you're going to resign before Trump comes into office? But why is that? Because you don't want to be fired? And the last integrity that you have is saying, we need to wind down this case because you cannot prosecute a sitting president. Now, sir, we know this already, right? You didn't even have a case against him. You were pulling as hard as you can from anywhere to get this done. And now that Trump's going to be back in office, you know you're about to be fired. Can you do me a favor before you go, though? Can you let Letitia James know that this is going to be her fate as well? And that as soon as the appellate court comes back with their ruling that it was complete misconduct, every single one of them is going to be disbarred, lose their licenses, and probably charged for this as well, as they should. Because you see, you've spent the last four years coming after this man and he wasn't even in office. I mean, you're probably the reason he ran again. People like you. And I see a bunch of people saying you should release everything you have on Donald Trump beforehand. No, 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 my friend. You don't have anything on Donald Trump. These are all bogus made up cases. And quite truthfully, they should be considered election interference at this point. But well, Trump won the election with a landslide, which means that people like you are not trusting the people that are in power anymore and it's time to drain the swamp. This is what actually needs to happen. You need to go after Jack Smith, Letitia James, DA Fannie Willis, and her corrupt ass Tyrone, <laughs> D and her down, Gorilla Grip, Fannie Willis, and all this freaking stolen money that they paid in cash. Like, go after all of these clowns. Uh, oh yeah, let's not forget uh, Oompa Loompa Alvin Bragg out in New York. Let's not forget about him, okay? I still haven't forgot about what you did to Jonathan Majors, okay? Screwed over Trump, Jonathan Majors, and who knows how many others over a bunch of corrupt BS liberal lawfare nonsense. And I said it before, I'll say it again, the chickens have come home to roost, okay? It's time for you guys to pay. And I do believe that there should be some election interference charges filed. We should subpoena for some evidence to see if the intent here was to prevent Donald Trump from winning the election. And if there's even a shred of evidence that demonstrates that, I'm talking even so much as a single text message saying, yeah, let's get him because we need to make sure we do this before the election so he can't win. Anything close to that, lock him up and throw away the freaking key 
to set an example and make sure that nothing like this ever happens again. You done effed up now. You should have made sure that you won. And then maybe you would have been safe. But now you got to pay. But those are just my thoughts, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel for new. I appreciate y'all watching a black. Enough. Rising channel. I'm out.